Matt, he just gave me a call and uh, no, no, he gave me, shot me a text. He said, hey, who are you fighting? And I was like, what? What the hell is going on? Did Carlos get injured? Was it my first thing? So I kind of, I, I jumped on, uh, I jumped on the best uh, website in the world, BJPen.com, find out the latest news. And they said uh, Diaz got uh, removed from the main event title fight. So from from there, I was just first thing I guess came to my head. I mean, I never want to uh, pick a fight with the UFC, but you know, I'm really wondering what the hell's going on. I'm in the middle of training camp. You know, I'm up here in California. I've been training for the last 45 days, preparing for this fight. And uh, um, then they they pull a switch on me with not even letting me know. First thing comes to my head is like. Wait, um, let me go check the bout agreement. Is that even possible? 
you know, but I was just trying to check it out, not to get into an argument. I just wanted to see what was going on. Um, you know, Dana, Dana ended up calling me later. Uh, we ended up putting the the Nick Diaz fight together after a long, a lot of back and forth. I actually talked with Nick Diaz's camp and this and that. We tried to get different fights because I've, I've trained with Nick Diaz. I've used him as a training partner before. He's a good buddy. We actually talk on the phone and hang out when we see each other. And, uh, you know, I, I try to... Uh, uh, we, we talked about it and we tried to find different opponents and then I'm pretty like at the end of the day there's uh there's no more uh there's not too many guys out there right now there's just GSP, Carlos Condit, me and Nick Diaz and, and we both thought for the best best for our career that uh you know best thing for everybody is just to get this fight put this fight together. For me a training camp is a chance to isolate myself and uh, bring it all all the best coaches and training partners uh, that, that I know or that I can fly in from around the world to help me perform at my maximum level. For this uh, training camp, I got Jason Perillo, Alan Goez, Daryl Christian, uh, of course my brother's involved, Bryson Kamaka's involved, and uh, Kenny Johnson's involved helping me train for the fight. So I'm just uh, I'm really excited. I, I expect good things to happen. I'm, I'm on a constant journey. Uh, to finally perform at my best. You know, I've had a lot of great fights over the years, but I, I don't think I've actually reached my peak and, and I want to make that happen one day. Later, bro. The day at fucking Ruka.
side. See, sometimes when you go here, it's not going to be here. We'll turn back and pull back the other way, you know? Come on. Especially that comes, you know what I mean? Boom, it's the back side. This is the punch that hurts. This one here, boom. Boom, you might eat that because you're going to see it coming out of the fire. You know? Eat either side. Your boss's your boss muscles are going to be there, yeah. Just get a feel how it's going to be because I'm going to look like you get bored in this motherfucking place.